All right, 2005 Chevy Suburban adjustable power issue. If you do not want to pull the whole entire dash out, if you do not want to do all that work, drop the steering column, um, that's hours and hours of work just to pull the plate and the two pedals off. Um, I found a way around it to help you guys out. So I'm going to show you the way around it because there's no videos on this. So taking this off, taking this off, you want to do that to get to bolts. You don't have to. All this can be put. Forget this. Ignore all that. All that can be ignored. Um, up underneath, uh, you're going to have the pedal that comes right off, and you're going to have the brake pedal that comes right off. Now, there's an easy way of doing it, okay? On the brake pedal, this brake pedal sits up there, and it's kind of a pain to get to, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to save you hours of time. There's a bolt that goes through here. There's a nut over here. And the bolts over here, so you're going to, have to get a you're going to have to get a socket on this side, a wrench on this side, and you're going to have to unbolt the bolt, and this will drop down. Make sure you unplug this plug here, okay? Um, if you want to do it the easy way and leave the cable up there, which I'm just now learning I could have done, but it's too late. Um, you can basically unscrew these two screws here, twist the thing, and the wire will come. The, the actual cable will come right out. Let's see if we can find it here. So this sits in, and oh, that's the other one. So yeah, so this sits in here like this. This bad boy goes over like this. It locks down. And then the screws go in it. I recommend doing that. Take this apart. Make sure things unbolted. There's a little lock device in here, like a little hat. You lift it up and you slide it off. Pull your switch off. Take the whole system off as a whole. I manually adjusted it. Just to adjust it, took the motor off, spun it. Um... But I'm going to show you the problem with this. Before you take, before you even, okay, if you want to just fix it, this might be your issue. Because this is my issue right here. I'm going to set my phone down for a second. Actually, you know what? We'll go with it. So just hold on tight here. I pulled this motor off and I found that the actual gear broke. That's why I quit moving. Now, I wish I would have known this five hours ago. But you live, you learn, and you got to learn, and hopefully this will help you guys out in the future and save you a bunch of time. I'm sorry this is kind of a not great video, but I'm doing this raw, and I'm doing it quickly. I'm an amateur filmer, but I feel like there needs to be a video out here for you guys to see on how to fix this. So if you want to pull the pedals out, take that piece off. On this one, it has little pop tabs. So once you take this little lock, the locking device off of it, which is this guy right here, once you unlock this device, spin it, unlock it, this is sitting in there, and there's little, these little pop pieces, take a little screwdriver, and you see right here, there's a tab there, and a tab there, that sits in there in the pedal, you can see the hole, the tab hole right there, it sits in there, that just sits in there, and there's tabs, so you just pop that out. Um, I cut the cable. I wish I would have known because after I just found out what I found, um, yeah, it would have cost me five minutes to replace it with just ordering a whole new part and just replacing the gearing in here. But I hope this will save your guys the hassle. So let me pull this motor off. So right here. This guy is broken. This gear. It's cracked. See the crack? Right there. So the gear is broken. So you can manually spin it and lock and move it. So I'm tall, I'm 6'10", so I like to max it all the way out. So I'm going to push it all the way back where it was at. All the way back. Once it's back, you want to bring this just a little bit so it's tight and flush to there. And you're going to pop the motor back on. Okay, so how to fix that is to thread this in like this. Pop the lock washer off right here. Unthread this and replace this plastic piece and put the lock washer back on and you would have a fully working adjustable pedal set up again But there is no videos on the internet about this little fix So before you take the whole entire thing apart Assuming it's the engine or the not engine, engine's gas the motor the electric motor Just take this apart first and you might save you a bunch of time Do it for me because I just Taking this whole thing apart and it took me five hours messing around with it. So check that plastic gear. 
that might be your issue because it's one it's one motor for both sides the motor so the cable goes up and around the top of the arch and then it goes back down into the throttle cable so but like I said I should have taken this part to begin with but I didn't do that I pulled the pedals out thinking that something was gummed up and it's not so lucky me have to spend time putting it all back together because I took all the back the bracketry apart inside the truck everything and to take the whole back if you want so it comes in a hole this comes in a set with a plate to replace the whole plate and everything you got to take the whole entire dash out literally the whole dash out the dash has to completely come out so check the end check the motor check that gear if your pedals aren't moving back and forth, but you're hearing the solenoids and you can put your hand on the motor and you hit the button on the door and you feel it vibrate, then you know it's not this. It's gonna be the stupid plastic gear in here. Frustrated, frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. It's just a worm gear on both of these. I adjusted them fully out right now. I have the whole thing apart, which sucks because I'm like, that's, and then I think to myself, I'm not gonna take this whole thing apart. I'm not doing it. Because up in here, here's the plate, okay? There's like ten, five bolts here, total to hold that plate on there's other bolts for up here the steering column has to come out the whole entire dash has to come out just to get that plate off and you have to get the steering column out to get the plate off i'm not going to do that so unbolt the pedal from up there the brake pedal unclip it pull it out take all the wiring off throttle cable is really easy there's two bolts bolt that bad boy up and call it good take it from me do not take the whole entire thing apart don't cut the cable take it apart to get it off the end um i cut it off because at that point i didn't know so now i had to get up there and there's a little like pop in holder i'm gonna pop that pull the cable out when my new one comes in i'm gonna have to reroute the cable up there and then i'll have it i'll bolt everything back up but you live you learn hopefully this will save you guys a bunch of time just take the take the wires off the cable off both ends drop the pedal actually you don't have to take the throttle cable off you don't take anything off what am i talking about take nothing off just take the motor off and see if that gear's broken. If that gear's broken, replace the gear, and it'll save you uh, five hours. Well, like 10 for me. So I hope it resolves the issue for you guys. The 2005 Chevy Suburban, I'm sure it's the same in the trucks. I'm sure it's the same in the Yukons, Denali's, all that stuff. Do not do what I did. Do not take it all apart, because now I gotta put everything back together. I gotta put the other new cable up there, and uh, I'm saving you guys heartache, hassle, frustration. Yeah, so just do it. Just do what I said. Don't take it all apart. Take this motor off first. Check that gear and go from there. Now, if you have a broken cable, that's the same thing you can do. Undo the cable. Undo the little clip on the very top under the rubber mat. Pull it out. Put the new one in. Drop it in and tighten it up. So when you do the cable, though, you want to make sure that your pedals are adjusted all the way out or whatever before you do it. That way, when you adjust them, they're equal. So anyways, I hope that helps you guys out substantially because uh, my frustrations, I'm hopefully in this video will make you guys, uh, your life's a little bit easier when it comes to fixing the pedals in your Chevy Suburban, your Denali, um, your Yukon. So yep, any questions, feel free to ask. Later.